Hello, my name is Austrian Fire, and welcome back to Mass Effect! Alright, so we're back out in the galaxy. I, I just decided to chuck a couple of things before I actually went out back here, but now we are in for the long haul. Onward to the Voyager Cluster! And the Amazon system, which is literally the only system in the Voyager Cluster. Because, sure, you think there'd be more, really. Yeah, now we okay. Ready to go, we're ready to go. Commander, incoming signal from huh? what? HQ on the Citadel. What's going on? What? Who? Commander Shepard. Something uncomfortable has just come up. Mm -hmm. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. The, um... Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. Seems okay, so what? What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. Right, right, right. The probe has a demo nuke built in. Oh. Uh, About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the twentieth. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. That, that that is pretty serious. I understand this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for twenty-six years. Right. The right. council will call fusion bomb boom. Traps dangerous and irresponsible. The alliance would face censure if they find this probe. No, we made these probes before we were part of the set. Never mind. On site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. That 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 doesn't even make any sense. It's in the Voyager cluster. That's the opposite side of the alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. Ah, I guess we'll get on it. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. By blowing it up! I mean, what? Good luck. Fifth fleet out. Alright, let's, let's see if we can find this thing. Abgibinium. Abgibinium is a small terrestrial world with an extremely thin atmosphere, carbon dioxide, and krypton. Though the planet has sufficient mass to maintain a much thicker atmosphere, much of it has been blasted away. The red giant Amazon is a long period variable star, currently at the near of a 16-year cycle. At its peak, its energy output doubles, lashing agabinium with intense heat and radiation. The crust is composed, mainly composed of aluminum with deposits of tin. Much of the surface is coated with fine silicate dust, which easily penetrates the smallest cracks in foul to foul machinery. Right, okay. I'll check that out in a minute. I'm gonna check the other planets in the system first. Dernuka. Dernuka is an enormous terrestrial world, nearly twice the size of Earth. Its environment is similar to that of Mars, arid, and a mix of craggy basal highlands and sand scoured deserts of iron laced silicate dust. Dernuka's atmosphere mainly consists of carbon dioxide and argon. I wish I would stop stuttering. But the planet's mass is great enough that measurable amounts of helium and even molecular hydrogen remain trapped in its atmosphere. The planet's gravity well is deep enough that it has collected nearly a dozen small satellites, most ca most captured asteroids. Its surface is scarred by many large impact craters, marking the final resting place of other captured asteroids. Alright. Sonedma. Sonedma is the second of the Amazon system's arid superterrestrial worlds. It is considerably less dense than its neighbor, Dunurka. 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 And as an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane, its frozen surface is mainly composed of iron laced silicates or the deposits blah, 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 deposits of sulfur. We found polonium. Yay! What's polonium? Sybin. A small rock and ice planet, Sybin has an extremely thin atmosphere of hydrogen, sulfide, and ethane. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of magnesium and silicates with deposits of iron. Sybin's crust contains significant deposits of green serpentine, a mineral formed by volcanic activity. This suggests Sybin was a more geologically active world in the distant past, as I slur like I'm drunk or having a stroke. Tur Turian insignia recovered. 
On scanning the planet Saiba, you discovered a large mining grid in geosynchronous orbit. With help from Navigator Presley, your team recovered a small unmanned probe marked with the Quadrium Outpost Signet. In Insignia, I don't know why I'm speaking so badly right now, I'm sorry. Tremar. Tremar is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of methane and nitrogen in its upper atmosphere. I'm surprised that I've been able to survey three plants. I found nitrogen. Hooray! Even though I found all the gases I actually need. Alright, back to Gembinium. A, 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 or Agebinium, I don't know. We're gonna land here either, either way. Alright, we'll take you. And we'll take you. There we go. You seem like a good squad. Because you never know what we'll find down here. Besides really cool scenery. Cause look at that. That looks awesome. I love I this is one of my favorite locations in the game. And this is one of the reasons that I'm not really down on the Mako levels. It's just that there's so many cool places to visit. I mean, look at this. Look at how close we are to that. To, to a red giant. That looks awesome! I mean, it casts the entire planet in a red glow, it looks so cool. Also, there's anything over here. I'm checking over here because I'm wondering if there's something over here. Besides maybe a Thresher Maw. I mean, I mean who knows what's over here? It just feels weird that they just put this entire spot of empty terrain without anything. Without anything worth the scup. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Without anything, with, without anything worth discovering. But it seems like there is nothing. We'll check, though. Yeah, that's the southern edge of the map. Alright. Up to the north it is with us, then. Ooh, I did find something. Mineral deposit. Off to the east. Go, Mako, go! I think this is the smoothest drive I've ever had with this thing. And all things considered, it's not very smooth. But that's just because of the terrain I'm going over. Otherwise, it's been driving very straight. You know, it has not been inclined to just kind of kick off to the left suddenly. Just because I tap on the A key. There we go. Totally parked on level terrain. Totally not like that wheel's kind of hovering in midair. Survey Samarium. And we're in! Yay! Alright, let's get out. Alright, so this little escapade was actually worth it in the end, because I found a... Rare something or other. I can't remember what it is. Did it say mineral, or what was it? Okay, let's head back to level terrain. Okay, oh gosh, oh gosh, okay, there we go. Maybe that was a little too bold and too daring. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. I love how I'm just rotating the turret to look around. Totally not like I would have like some sort of, you know, periscope or something on this. You know, something I could... Hello? So that's my first point of interest right over there. I, I, I kind of spotted that without even trying. It just glinted oddly, and it's like, huh, that looks like something. Oh, it is. It's a mining com. It's a mining base. Question is, what are we closing in on? Hold on, let me check this. Okay, that's the homing beacon. Got it. All right. Alright, there we go. I'm just gonna... Wait, am I still... Am I still suffering from some sort of degenerative disease or something here? What's going on? Did I give Tally a... Did I give Tally a, sh a shotgun skill? Now I think about it. Nope, I did not. I gave her Vince Marksman skill, though. Alright, so these are maxed out, strictly speaking. Um, Alright, let me... Let me max out her hacking here. 
That should be fun. That should be fun when we have to face it off. Face off against the Gath again. Uh, let me boost, boost, start boosting your armor. Make it a little more defense. Oh, Ash. Uh, Ash, you need a you need a skill here. No, we don't need that. We need that. All right. Now then, let's see. Assault training, adrenaline burst, fit nice. Uh, let's see, um, you know, we'll just give this, because we're closer to that, and then we'll, oh, okay, we got advanced immunity anyway, cool. I still have, like, two points to spend, but I don't know what to spend them on yet, so I'm gonna wait. Oh, I got an extra, I got an extra tab for charm. Huh, what controls that, I wonder? Mineshaft, that's the source of the signal. Thanks, Ash. A trap, it has to be. Thanks, Akbar. Yeah, this thing didn't crash. Somebody moved it here. Uh, they may not know what they have. Let's find it before they set it off. Indeed. All right, Shepard. Don't the way to sound so glum about it, Tally. Jeez. Question is, who would set up a who set up a mining shaft on a such a barren planet? A barren planet so close to a red giant. Seems weird. Hello. Hello. My name is the Shepherd Commander. I uh, I sell merchandise. No, no. 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 Is there anyone home? So far, no. Lots of mining lasers down here, though. Why do you need three mining lasers? I mean, who could po I mean, who could possibly be here? Plus, po ugh. who could possibly be here that could afford to even own three different three mining lasers for no readily apparent purpose? What, what am I stuck on? Apparently, I just got stuck on Commander Shepard. Hello? Anyone home? Hello? Gosh, no one's around. This should be interesting. Hello? Whoa, Jesus Christ! What the hell? Oh, my heart! Shepherd. At last. At last? Have we met? You don't remember me. <laughs> no matter. I remember you. I never forget anyone I fought. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. My heart. Runs the Terminus Clan, Shepherd, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe. Um, In most criminal organizations, it's the one who's recognized as the most successful. Heart's still That's kind right. of uh... The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Right. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. A Skillium Blitz. You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator, the instigator, the one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Well, failed, yeah. Failed because of you. Uh -huh. Your damnable holding action. My crew will come for me. <sighs> Let them. We'll be ready. An alliance warship would make a fine prize. Oh, and mm -hmm. if you haven't noticed, the oars here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. I would still like you to explain why you needed three mining lasers to set this trap. Also, you don't realize that I have a Turian and a, and a Krogan on board my ship. Oh, and, and an Asari. I'm not sure you'd be very fond of attacking them directly. I'm, I'm just saying, especially the Krogan, he's, I, th I think he likes to smash heads. It's like a warrior poet, though, that one. 
Okay, I'll, we'll use that we'll one. We'll find a way out of here. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Sure. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Shepard? No one panic! Ah! Get air and light and the Normandy's still in orbit. Let's look for another way out. Okay. Manually disable. Manually disable. Good thing I tally here. See, I'm a smart person. Oh shit. Oh fudge buckets. There we go. Well, so much for that probe that looks like every other probe that has ever existed in the history of Mass Effect. Okay, guns out. Stay sharp. You never know. Ah, okay. I see the waste blocked anyway. All right, where are we? Oh, I guess someone decided to park our tank right nearby. That's great. Oh, they probably stole it, didn't they? Now I think about it, why does this thing have a back door? If we're supposed to be trapped down there, why does the thing have a back door? It doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you, these these pirates, these slavers, these general scum, they they just they just no good. They just they they just don't know what they do. I think they've trapped the Commander Shepard, and all they've done is embarrass themselves. Alright, I am... <clears throat> I remember I tried to snipe that base, actually, when in my original playthrough, since, you know, Infiltrator Shepard. It didn't work well. It, it just did not work well. Because the sniper rifle is just terrible. The breathing cycle has made it impossible to hit anything accurately. Yep! Surprise, motherfuckers! <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna oh we're not. I'm on my way. Okay, what am I stuck on? Come on, get off the thing. There we go. Look at you, you, you cheeky little git. Gotta throw you. Sorry, sir. Um. Okay, I dissolved him. That's good. Okay, you're dissolved. Okay, we're gonna get in the we're gonna get in the Mako, we're gonna back up a bit here. Gonna get it to cover there. That's the last of them. No, it's not. There's like five of them left. We're fighting them on foot. We're gonna do this the honorable way, not the smart way. That is not where I wanted that to go. Yep, yeah, that's right. Take that, Mr. Krogan man. And take that, Mr. Krogan. Krogan man. And take that, Mr. Turian man, I guess? Looks like a... There's one guy left. 
Making silly sounds on the far side of this tent. Uh, there we go. Okay, musical cues overlapping. Please don't do that game. Halia went through a lot of trouble to draw you here. A pity I ended it like this. Well, for him at least. Now that you're above ground, your suit radio has reestablished connection with the Normandy. Time to get the hell out of here. No, there's things to explore, game. Shut up. I didn't ask for your opinion on the matter anyway. I know. Alright, so first things first is Debris over here. Whoa, okay, there we go. Really though, why did you put a back door in a trap? Begin the manual bypass. Got it! Barely, I was an accident actually, I wasn't even trying that one. I honestly thought I would hit one of those things, but I just slipped right through. Okay. Now I gotta turn about. And drive. Over here. To an anomaly, I think it was. An anomalous reading. As though there could be anything more anomalous than that bandit camp over there. But we'll find out what's over here. Maybe it'll just be stranger than the thing we found before. Oh, no, it's just a corpse. Hello? Hello? Do you require medical at- Oh, Terry Insignia. Oh, This body is a long way from anything and appears to have been here for quite some time. On the body is a book of drawings, including one of the Silar in- Uh, Siglar, excuse me, Outpost Insignia. Interesting. And then I just drove over the course because I'm a jackass. <laughs> Ooh, wait, there's a thing here. There's a thing over here. No, no, shut up. I was just driving over this way for shits and giggles. I didn't think there actually be a thing, a thing I detect here. I never, I didn't discover this the last time. Definitely didn't discover this the last time I played this. Brushing with the carbonization of the door of the con 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 Contra Gravity Speeder, you see the Nizo brand name. Judging by the charm, the wreckage is near since the star's last variable peak. The course is wearing the remains of an expensive suit and appears to be melted avi antique aviator goggles. Gaggles. What? Uh, okay. That's... What? Is there... Is there anything else to this? What? Why did I find this? Is it just like an Easter egg or something? That's weird. And that's everything, right? Yeah, it's the homing beacon, debris, 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 yeah. Okay, that's weird. Kind of weird. That feels very Easter eggy. And that's the only thing I can conclude that it is, really. Because that's, uh. Not really anything. Interesting, honestly. Huh. I never discovered that before. I Last time I played this, I never saw that. Because I never thought to actually travel beyond the, uh, the camp. That's interesting, most certainly, but it's confusing as hell. Well, anyway, it's time to return to the Normandy. We've done everything we can on that planet. It's going to be a nerd in another solar system. Actually, another sector, probably. Right? Because there's nothing else here? Yeah. Okay. Alright, Attic and Beta will take us to for fa Pharos, or we go to Hellerset Nebula for Novaria. But we're going to keep exploring a bit. Because we have a couple of missions to do. All right, Armstrong Nebula for what? Uh. Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. Where's your son? Reports of a marked increase in Geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Son of a bitch! Surveillance drones have identified Geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong cluster. We need someone to take them out. We need to shoot bullets at them then. Any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. 
Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit and run attacks on human colonies. <sighs> I yawned at that exact moment because it's kind of late and I've been up since 4 30. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Yeah. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. And I have the expert Finding right here. Is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting again. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. I gotta wonder, why not just use the f all the locations of known get outposts in the Armstrong cluster to the Normandy now? Admiral hack it out. I was about to ask actually, why why not use uh why not use um the fleet? But then I realized that might instigate a full scale war and they're trying to avoid that probably. So using, you know, using a ship that can using a ship that can get through um you know, that can that can kind of enter undetected. That cutscene this this cutscene's super loud. I have trouble talking over it because it's so loud. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure ship. Oh! Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. Oh. The ones killed by the Thresham. Uh, um, um, Damn, I hope you get this message. Admiral? It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. Admiral? They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Oh. Oh, Admiral. I like your name, too. Alright, Maji. Maji orbs is Vamshi Binary Giant Stars. Vamshi A is a blue star of Central Class 4 A4143, which burns ha at half again the temperature of Sol. Vamshi B is an aging red giant of Class M53. Over, I think that's that's th that's Roman numeral three, right? Not like three ones. Over 220 times the size of Sol. Magia is in a thin atmosphere of methane and carbon monoxide. The difference in temperature between the atmosphere facing the suns and that and that facing deep space and that facing deep space causes constant winds, turning to silica and sodium dust to the surface. Unsavory characters and determinist systems occasionally use magia for forms of cruel sport, dumping slaves, hostages, quarreling shipmates, or even when bored, vicious animals on the surface. One must kill the other before they will be rescued from the lethal radiation of the giant stars. Okay, gonna zoom out there, because we're just gonna check the other plants real quick. Prego! Sounds like Pringles. Prego is an enormous terrestrial world with an atmosphere of chlorine and ethane. Its surface is mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of aluminum. No landing has ever been attempted. While scanning the planet Pregel, you discovered several marker buoys orbiting it. Chief Engineer Adam secured some high-res uh, high optical images of the buoys, which appears to, appear to have been neglected for some time. Each one is marked the Baitika colony insignia. I probably butchered that, but I'm not Turian, so screw them. Almos is a hydrogen gas giant with traces of sodium darkening its atmosphere. That looks cool. Look at that. That looks awesome. Gosh, I wish I could explore space sometimes. Just, you know, without all the danger. Because I'm a coward. Anyway! Alright, so if we're going to face Geth, then we should bring Tally with us. And we will bring... We'll bring the Rex Man with us, I guess. I don't know. No. We'll bring Caden with us, actually. We never bring Caden with us with anything. Poor Caden, I mean. I just completely ignore him. I need to upgrade his gear, actually. And level him up. Okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta handle Caden here because Caden's got 16 points to spend here. All right, so uh, I can. Okay, so oh, he could be my other electronic specialist if I gave him the opportunity. All right, lift, throw. Okay, let's see. Um, who? I didn't realize he had a. I didn't realize he had a special ability actually. Or uh, like that. Alright, there we go. Caden. Completely unremarkable skill spread out, lay out. 
Anyway, striker three. All right. Um, hammerhead rounds and improved sighting. And then let's get him a new biotic. And oh, he already has unit. Oh, never mind. I gave him the unit three. Oh, I gave him the guardian three. I didn't even realize. Gosh, I gave him. I gave him all sorts of things. I didn't even realize it. Um, let's bolster his shields, I guess. And then, oh, I forgot he's gonna get an Omni tool, but it doesn't matter because I only have the blue wire anyway. All right, Tally, Tally, did I give you new? Yes, I did. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, I think I think everything is hunky dory. Gosh, how about that Admiral Kahoku though? He's probably dead now. I'm gonna miss him. Also, that looks awesome. I just sorry, I just have to get that out of my system because that looks absolutely fantastic, just like the last planet. Oh crap! I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look at that blue sun in the back. That blue star, I should say, rather, in the background. That looks cool. Alright, so I have to get up on that mountain, I guess. So we're gonna figure that out. I guess we should go from here. Well, you know, let me be sure there's nothing over here worth exploring. I don't think so. Yeah, that's just the edge of the map. All right, let's see. This is the Geth Outpost. Okay, that's debris. That's the anomaly. <clears throat> let's see what we can find. Found something. Oh, we found the path up. Figures the Geth would clearly label the path leading to their base by placing turrets all over the advance. Hold on a second, I just want to get this mineral deposit here. It's like, right right about... Right about here? Oh crap, is it perfectly exposed to the Geth turrets? No, okay, good. Yay, magnesium! I like magnesium. This magnesium, I know, shut up. I'm being silly. Oh crap, what the... Stupid thing. There we go, got it. Alright, let's see here. Let's see what we can see when we crest this hill. Nothing right now. Oh, there, okay, there's things, okay. Gotta be careful. Don't get shot, Caden. Remember what happened last time he got smushed by Expression Maw? We basically just had to stuff you full of Metagel. I'm pretty sure that Caden is more Metagel than man now, in fact. After that Threshermaw incident, that tore apart his internal organs and left him a bitter shell of a man. Alright, screw this. We're fighting this with the tank. Because this is going to be too inconvenient. No, shut up, Tally. They're right there. They're literally shooting rockets at us. Whoa, I hit that. I hit that with a mid-air strike. Did not hit you, though. Look at all that extra experience. That is so tasty delicious. To make it uncover? Yeah. I love how we're all using pistols against tur against rocket turrets. That makes sense. No, I no, that's tactically sound decision making, Commander. No, no, Commander, you're definitely making wise decisions right now. Oh, fuck! There we go. Okay, got it. I think the Mako just took that hit. Cover me. Whoa, that one thing- that thing clipped through the ground. What the heck? Alright, got you. Still a couple of batteries up here. 
Still a couple of batteries up here, though, so let's be patient. Let's not be reckless. Let us be wise. Gotta get into a vantage point which will allow me to shoot it. As opposed to whatever these two chuckleheads are doing. Watch it, watch it! We almost got this. Alright, take down. This is to This is totally a logical way to a logical way to fight a missile turret. Totally not like the missile's explosions would ever injure me severely or anything, you know. I mean that's not how it works. You know, splash damage, what the hell is that? Fragments of metal? Never Oh crap. My sensors are being jammed, I better save now. Or forever hold my peace. Because apparently I'm going to a wedding. I'm marrying these geth to the bullets in my gun. What's over here? Cover, apparently. No, oh, oh, we got it. Alright, there we go. Don't know why we're not hitting anything. You okay, gotta get into cover here because the tank is losing its shields. Shields are going down. Shields are going down. Let's get the let's let's head up here. Um, AI hacking for that tally, and I'm gonna throw that guy. Bye. Gosh, my shields are so low. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm slipping. Well, crap, this was not the best decision I've ever made. Definitely not the best decision I've ever made. Gosh, Geth are so terrifying to listen to. Really? That's it? That's that's all? Nothing more? Just a just a bunch of just a bunch of geth like starfish? What the what the fuck? What 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 oh shit. Oh god me fudge Well, I should have expected that because I should because I remember these missions, but I'm stupid. I don't remember anything! Okay, um... Alright, just, just keep moving. Keep moving, everyone. Um... Warp! Oh shit. Oh shit. You gotta get that tank. You gotta get the tank back! Gotta get the tank back. Whoa, that was a big shot. It's time. 
Yeah, Caden. Somebody who got in here, even though you are knocked out way far away from the from the from the Mako. Let's just let's just take this one step at a time, one volley at a time. Whoa! Fancy shot. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, that, that actually legitimately startled me. Oh. Part of me, I, I, part of me, just I'm just I'm just going to evacuate my bowels real quick. Just you know, just a thing I have to do real quick. Shield modulator. Ooh. Really? Why is it battery two but modulator four? Unless they're two different things, but they don't seem like they're two different things. Oh, whatever. I'm going to upgrade my armor. Tally, your armor doesn't have anything in it, actually. What the heck? Um, let's see. Let's give you stimulant pack there. Let's make you a little better, a little faster, a little stronger. Alright. Alright. Everything's fine. I'm 100% fine. Totally still not kind of bothered by everything that just happened. Totally not. Nope. Oh, let's just go in the Mako and explore the rest of this planet. I spent way- I dawdled way too much on that. Holy crap. Wow, I didn't realize how much time I spent doing that, actually. Whoopsie. Whoop, whoop, whoops. I lost all my momentum. I went to the- I went to the map, and then I came out of it and just dropped like a rock because I lost my momentum. Apparently, we just hit the air brakes or something. Equally ridiculous sounding. When I went, when I looked at the map for a split second, and next thing you know, we just dropped like a stone. No, nope, everything's fine. I, okay, okay, you're okay. I don't know who's driving right now. I think Caden's had a little too much to drink. I don't even know if Caden drinks. I don't think he does actually. Does he? I don't know. I never kept him alive long enough to find out if he does drink. The only thing I remember is that Ashley cannot hold her liquor. Ooh, there's a thing there. As I just keep spinning off down this hill as opposed to up it, which is where I think the thing is, but it might be down at the base of the other side. Uh, is Oh, right there. It's a giant dog turd looking thing. Beryllium! All right. <laughs> I almost screwed that up. Yay, that was right in front of my face. What the hell? What the hell? The thing just kept rolling and parked itself on the beryllium. Oh, there we go. Dropping like a stone again. That's interesting, though. There were actually two deposits on this world. Boss I wonder if there's a third one somewhere. I wonder how many deposits I've missed, actually, all things considered. I should totally look it up on the wiki, actually. And I'm legitimately interested. Given that I wasn't... Because given, because whenever I play an RPG for the first time, I'm usually not a thorough completionist. It's when I play it for the second or third times, where I start to get, like, really thorough, trying to maximize everything, find every secret, learn everything that can help make the game end the best way possible. How is this? Crashed probe. Looks like some sort of robotic foot. Like something from like the Power Rangers Megazord or something. Fudge. Gonna book it! There we go, got it. And it leveled up again. Wow. Shut up, Caden. All right, over there. Whee! Bounce. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What shall we find? Uh, all right, this, this is getting annoying. Stop it. 
Stop skipping off to the right and the left and the back and the up and the down and up your ass. Odd skull. This massive skull is scored by Neflected mass accelerator shots. The xenobiology files in your heart to computer can identify the species. It must have been brought here from an unknown world. Well, that's creepy. I also just re I always just realized my front right wheel is damaged. Alright. Ancient Debris. Ooh. What did I find? Turian and Signy recovered. This strange looking sensor has some ancient graffiti scribble in it. Appears to be marked the Adescent Colony Insignia. Cool. That's kind of weird, too. Why is that just there? Is there anything else on this planet? I already checked around here, right? I already, I already checked this quadrant. Or did I? Did I start here, right? I started to the east, right? There's going to be nothing here for me to find because I already scanned around it mostly. Just by being where I was. Can't even remember. Oh, wait, there's a thing. I found a thing. Look at me. I just. We ended on a surprisingly straight course just now. I'm surprised. Look at that. A little bit of extra exploration. I find yet another mineral deposit. Thorium. Survey that mineral, please. Whoa! Take that, Thorium. Thought you could defeat me. Well, you are wrong. You are completely wrong. And your hubris has caused you to pay the price. Alright, I think that will be it, though. I mean, I can't imagine they tucked anything else away on this map. I mean, it's possible, just... Highly unlikely. You know, and I'm not going to spend all day in the Mako trying to figure out where things are, if there's anything at all. So, back to the Normandy with us. Alright, back here. Out of the... Away from Maji, out of the Vamshi system, and off to the Hung system. And this will be the last system I explore because I'm getting tired. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'm getting messages all over the place in this, se Shepard, in this sector. This is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We know. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm dealing with Geth. I'm dealing with something that, uh, that, that. Never mind. That never mind. I was about to mention. What What else is up? What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. Right. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. So in other words, you mean you created it? Are you it. telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. Right, right. We didn't do anything illegal here. Sure. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. Mm -hmm. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Is that the only option? Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. Right, right, right. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. So you want me to I run in suicidally? To the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. And right now, we need you. I've never made a point to say that it wasn't. All the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. All right, Pomol. Pomol is an enormous terrestrial planet with a very dense atmosphere of carbon dioxide and sodium. 
The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of sodium oxides and deposits nickel. There is evidence that probe was once covered the broad shallow seas. Should a probe ever be sent to the surface to check for ancient fossil life might prove valuable. Kasbin Kasbin is a classic pre-garden terrestrial world with conditions similar to those in Earth millions of years ago. Its hot, humid atmosphere is mainly composed of nitrogen and carbon dioxide. An increasing amount of the surface is covered by simple lichen and algae. Should no unexpected calamity occur, these tiny plants will change the atmosphere to an Earth-like nitrogen-oxygen mix over the next few millennia. Due to its potential future habitability and sapient life, Caspian has been designated Sanctuary World by the Citadel Council. Landing is prohibited by law and... 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 any... any... Disturbance of the fragile young ecosystem result in harsh fines and imprisonment. At present, the plant is passing through the debris trail of a long period com comet. Alright, we'll land on Caspian soon. Against the law, but we are specters after all. Matar is an extraterrestrial plant. Extra. It's a terrestrial plant with th a thick atmosphere composed of nitrogen and krypton. Its frigid surface is mainly composed of sodium oxide deposits of copper. Because of noxious surface gases, explorers are wont to use extreme caution. Matar lacks a magnetic field. This makes it useless for discharging FTL drive cores in orbit. The energetic particles of solar wind from Hong strike the upper atmosphere directly, ionizing the krypton. This gives the plant a distinctive minty green white hue. Matriarch's writings, reco writings recovered. Scans of Matar revealed debris from a destroyed Asari freighter. Further scans uncovered a bo body, bounty, body which was brought on board. Dr. Chakwas examined it, but learned nothing about its origins. Among the Asari's personal effects, however, was one of Matriarch de Lanaga's writings. Theshaka. Theshaka is a standard hydrogen and helium gas giant, my voice cracks. In the past, it was often used as a dry discharge point for pirates raiding human settlements from the Terminus systems. In 2178, the Alliance set up a network of covert sensing devices on Thesaka's moons. Recordings of pirate FTL exit vectors over the course of six months led the Alliance Navy to eight major pirate anchorages. Since the Thesaka, Thesaka raid, excuse me, no ship from the Terminus systems are reported in the Han system. And finally, Tree Gear. Trigear, Trigear is a, a tiny ice dwarf with a trace atmosphere of xenon and krypton. The frozen surface is mainly composed of water, ice, and ammonia. Cryovolcanic processes are gradually paving the atmosphere surface with sure fervor with sheets of fresh, I fresh ice. Yay, lithium! Okay. Gotta, gotta hurry up and do this mission. My, my voice is giving out on me. Well, my words are giving out on me. G g b b b b b giving out on me. So let's do this. We're gonna bring Tally again, I guess? I don't know. Um, I don't know, counter. Part of the thing is that because Tally has both like encryption and um, or decryption and uh, whatever the other one is, it makes her extremely useful in the event I have to actually hack a computer system, which is very likely. I'm pretty sure Caspin has something on it that has to be decrypted. In fact, okay, so we'll take you and we'll take you. Go short range squad again. Gosh, I'm just gonna bring Tally everywhere just because of, just because of utility. Okay, that's the get the outpost. Think there's something over this way? Probably. Doesn't mean I should check it out though. And I'm on a timetable. Not really. Well, there might be something down here. All right, I'm gonna check down this way, and then I'm gonna turn about if the scan reveals nothing. Look at that glow. Gosh, this is terrifying to look at. Really, all those all those meteorites should be raining down around me right now. There we go. Got the wrong key there. Could be something down here. Don't think so, but it'll just be a place where I might hide something as a game developer. No, it doesn't look like it. I have to be scanning the entire thing at this point. Yeah, I, I am. Oh well, wild goose chase it was. Yep, totally not driving drunk right now. Nope. Mm -mm. All right. 
No, yeah, but though, this planet also just looks kind of cool. I mean, look, I mean, look at it. It's actually nice and green for once. I ain't sure it has all these little ugly cliff textures, but that's to be expected of a game of its age. Of games in general, really, when you, when you, for being honest. I mean, until we make it a time when games can be perfectly crafted and the world look totally natural, because procedural generation never quite matches that. But until we can make a game where, like, the terrain generally, like, like, has, like, realistic cliffs and everything, it's just going to be u ugly cliff textures blocking off, you know, blocking off areas and the like. Oh, okay. Got that. Stabilize. Stabilize. Okay. Now we're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, found it. I'm right here. Not you. What are you find? ID tag recovered. The bird on the beacon is an invitation tag for Captain Fiend. Fine. There's no indication why it was hidden here or who buried it in the first place. Weird. Who's Captain Thine? Is he important to me or do I just not care? I don't think I care! Oh crap, Mako's stuck. It's a matter of finding the most level terrain to drive up so that you get back on the crest of the ridge. And there was a dr fudge, 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 okay. Just gotta back up and then, okay, gotta back up and then get a little momentum here. There we go. And I gotta get back to the ridge. Got it, all right. And get to that debris pile over here, whatever it is. Oh, drive, Mako. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that sky box. Look at that sky box. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Right, we gotta drive out of this cul de sac before we run out of momentum. Never mind. I turn us about, turn us about, and bring us along this more shallow slope. We've almost got it. Almost got it. All right, you got it. You got it. Good job, buddy. Good job, Rex. I'm very proud of you. There it is. Can I get so level around here, guys? There? Oh, there we are. Probably. That's in a silly location, but sure, whatever. What's here? Rail extension, kinetic stabilizer, ablative coating. Okay. Now we go go to the next point, which is to the northeast. There's targets there as well. I have a bad feeling about this. Question is, what did we find? Oh, hi! Hi! What, 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 what? Um, Geth here. This isn't the Geth base. That's a hit. You're down.
Watch yourself there, Tally. Oh, wow, she broke it. Whoa, 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 buddy, 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 I'm just gonna have to ask you to take a lift. And take a throw as well. Ooh, hacked. Good job, Tally. Good work, good work. Make the guests fight each other. Come this way. Don't have... Oh gosh, oh gosh, help. Help, I'm not pinned. Oh god, Rex! Why? Why am I crouching? Watch it. There we go, okay. One more thing. Gonna lift that. Also, we're gonna use Unity. Now we're gonna throw you. So I just didn't. Okay, that didn't work. Never mind. Abort, 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 abort. Rex, why? I keep forgetting I have grenades, honestly. Honestly, keep forgetting I have grenades. Shut up, Rex. You were unconscious the entire time. Um. So what? There's just nothing more to be done about this. Just, just gonna let this be. Just not gonna disable it or anything. Not gonna check it out or anything at all. That's all. That's it. Let's see if we could. Let's see if anything uh, becomes more obvious to Mako. Like we're really not gonna figure out anything about what the guests were up to around here. Why they have this little sub base nearby to their other outpost? Nothing at all. Just gonna let it go. Nothing to explore, nothing to discover. I guess so. Alright, onwards to the main guest base then. Oh, why? 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 Ooh, there's a mineral deposit. Stop it! Stop it! Alright, what do we got here? Gold! Yay, I'll be safe from economic crises. By buying gold. Alright, onward. To victoire. I just thought I saw a spider out of the corner of my eye. It scared me. Alright, we're almost there. We're almost there. My energy levels are waiting. We must defeat the Geth before my energy depletes completely. Oh gosh. The signal's being... J oh, okay, what the frick. Where are they? Where the heck are they? I guess it's right up here, right? Yes, there we are. Uh oh. I mean.
Gotta get the shields back up. We need to kill these Geth. No! Cover! Just gonna duck! Tally! Why? Shit! Why? Cover, cover. Okay, I'm gonna get back into the Mako because those rockets are a pain. Oh, I did actually hit them all. Hello? Oh, here we go. Stop hitting the tank. That's number two. Let's hit the next base. Whoa, a pinwheeled. Shit. Deflectors are going down. Not the deflector. It's a kinetic barrier, but you get my point. All right, that's it. Yes, it is. All right, let's get out of here. Cause my energy is shot. Um, ooh, excuse me. Cause I want to thank you all for watching this episode of Mass Effect. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe for more. As that icon for door selection was centered right on Shepard's breasts. Great job, game. You you just you just know to focus on the right things. Anyway, be sure to check the link. Be sure to check the links in the description below. Links to below for links to my Twitter and Facebook pages. Extra Life 2016. And I will catch you next time as Commander Shepard continues her explo exploration of the Armstrong Cluster, or is it Nebula? Until next time, everybody, family, and Obi-Wan Kenobi, so they could show off more of the Star Wars universe. Not just new settings and aliens, but they could show off those things that have been created since Return of the Jedi, particularly in the realm of technology. Here was a chance to see the older models of ships that dominated warfare before the Galactic Empire. There's a plethora of ideas to go off of. Dreadnought Heavy Cruiser, Z-95 Headhunter, Victory Star Destroyers, the Y-Wing, or the Dishing Cannon used on a Hawk back in their heyday. There was so much potential there, and George Lucas pissed